An important part of any chemistry calculation is to determine a ratio between the number of moles of a substance that you know something about compared to the number of moles of the uh, substance you want to know something about. In nature and in industry, the ratio between two chemicals uh, is usually not just involved in one equation but follows a series of reactions. This example here is the Oswell process whereby we start with ammonia and end up with nitric acid. OK, when we look at the first equation, 4 moles of ammonia does produce 4 moles of NO. If we want to know what's going to happen to this 4 moles of NO, we look at the second equation and it's got the uh, reaction has 2 NOs going to 2 NO2s. But if we're having 4 from the first one coming down here, we need to double this whole equation. Now we can see that the 4 moles of ammonia, which produces 4 moles of NO, and that 4 moles of NO will go on to produce 4 moles of NO2. So in essence we're saying 4 moles of ammonia will eventually produce 4 moles of NO2. To determine uh, how many moles um, of nitric acid will be produced by these 4 moles of NO2, we look at this reaction down the bottom, the, the final equation, and we'll have to, to change um, this 3 into a 4. We have to multiply this by 1 and a third, which means we multiply the whole equation by 1 and a third. And once we've multiplied that whole equation by 1 and a third, or by uh, 4 thirds, we get this um, equation here. So now this tells us that the 4 moles of ammonia we began with will eventually become um, 8 on 3 moles of nitric acid, or 2 and 2 thirds. So our ratio is 4 moles of ammonia to produce 2 and 2 thirds moles of nitric acid. Now if we wanted to combine these equations and write it in a more simplified version as one overall equation, we just cancel out uh, reactants with products. For example, the 4NOs on the left cancel with 4NOs on the right, and so on and so on. Once all that cancelling is done, we can just add up all the reactants and add up all the products. And you end up with an equation like this, but because we like whole numbers in it, let's multiply everything by 3 uh, and see what the overall equation will be. So this is what we end up with as one overall simplified equation for the um, three steps that are involved in the Oswald process.